You know, I pulled the trigger and I did it. And, you know, at, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be able to say, I wonder what would have happened if I had tried to do it. Exactly. And so I, I just, you know, I'm like, you know, I might lose money. I might have lost time, but I think that the rewards from it and the, and the personal growth are so worth it. That's why I always tell people, I'm like, like, how do you do it? I'm like, just do it. You know, don't be mm-hmm. one of people who's like, should I do it? Should I not do it? Just do it. Go for it. And what's the worst that's yeah. going to happen? You know? Exactly. Well, no, I was only I was asking those questions not to shine any negative light to it, but just because obviously mental health is, is more of in the spotlight now, and I think more people need to take more time to – for themselves or uh, just make sure that mentally they're in a good place because if you're mentally not in a good place and you feel like maybe you're rushing all the way around, not only is you're going to feel it, your kids are going to feel it, and then, you know, your business might flip because of the fact that you think that you're going boom, 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 boom. But the fact that you brought up that it's, it's opened it an entirely different part of you that you didn't even know was there. And like you said, you're now addicted to this new drug of, being an entrepreneur and, you know, like you said, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't even know if you're really going to wake up tomorrow. So th- that's yeah. the something that should drive everybody to not live in the, I wonder if, or I wonder what could happen. Just do it. Like there's a, a absolutely wonderful video that Steve Harvey made. I think it was in between like a family feud taping and he was talking about jumping. People are so afraid to jump and just to do it because, you know, they don't know if they're going to land or where they're going to land or what. It doesn't matter. You have to take that leap. If you don't take that leap, you're always going to be kind of sitting on the ledge or standing on the ledge and be like, what will happen? What could happen? What could happen? If you live in that world, then you're just going to be uh, swallowed in it and you're not going to grow and you have to take that leap. Otherwise, you'll never know. Absolutely. 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 And I, and I think it's, you know, and I get why people don't. I get it because it's the same reason that I didn't do it. The two other, the two other ideas I had, um, it's out of fear, you know, fear Mm -hmm. of the money commitment, fear of the the time commitment. Um, but I do think you're right. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, you know, the no regret thing. I keep a a quote by my bed and it says, I'm fully engaged in my life. I'm going to explore my full potential. And, I always like look at it and think, okay, you know, I'm fully engaged. Like I'm, I'm going for it, you know, because we get one life, we get one, you know, one run with us. Like how are you going to use your yeah. time? You know, what extra potential do you have that you're not actually exploring? And so that's what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm exploring my full potential, you know, and I thought it was always going to be medicine. And now I'm saying like, no, I'm actually pretty good at sales. And I never knew I was, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually, pretty good at being the vision of a, a business and, and running it. And who would have thought? So, <laughs> so you know, um, I mean, that's the cool part. So, yeah, no regrets. But, um, yeah, no, I'm with you. I'll have to look up that Steve Harvey thing. I like him anyways. Yeah, he's, oh, he's amazing. I'll, I'll find the clip and I'll, I'll send it over to you. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so I have a segment on the show I call it the five counts, five random questions. Uh, just okay. As quick as possible. Uh, what would your last meal be? What did you say what? What would your last meal be? What would my last meal be? Yes. Ooh, sushi. Ooh, nice. Is there any specific uh, sushi that you enjoy? Everything raw. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I don't like cooked sushi. All raw. Sashimi, even. I don't even need the rice. Yeah, sashimi oh, is still fantastic. Uh, if you were a pro wrestler or MMA fighter, what would your name be? Ooh. Ooh, I guess Cocktail Princess. Ooh, I like that one. Uh, <laughs> what are three things people would not expect about you? Three things people would not expect of me. Um that I am certified in lice removal. That I didn't know you could be certified in that. Interesting. Yeah, I am certified. That's one of the other businesses I thought about doing. Don't even it's it's a crazy thing that I had. Yeah. I uh, not an obsession, but yes, I'm certified in lice removal. <laughs> Don't be afraid of lice, everyone. It's not that scary. <laughs> um uh 
Uh, I am a phenomenal cook, I have to say. Oh. And I have a real, real fear of flying. So all business meetings on multiple coasts will be I uh, car. Or I have learned how to self medicate because I still ah, I still get is. on a plane. But I know I know how to I know how to self medicate. <laughs> there you go. Uh who or what inspires you? Oh gosh. My children um inspire me. I would say other entrepreneurs inspire me. Um I love following other entrepreneurs. Sarah Blakely is super fun to follow. Um I love her inspirational quotes, but I also, too, I love listening to any sort of podcast that talks about an entrepreneurial. I listen to a lot of um, um, uh, Rye Gaz, um, who does How I Built This. Um, I, I love listening to other entrepreneur stories. Those super inspire me. Like, if I'm having a down day, I'll listen to one of those, and I'm like, oh, they went through this, too. <laughs> Uh, Tim Ferriss is another good one, uh, which everybody knows, and Jay Shetty, which also I think everybody knows. So oh yeah, Jay, Sh- Jay Shetty. Jay Shetty, I know. Who's who's the second guy? Tim Ferriss. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the twenty or ten hour work week or something like that, and then. Yes, he, yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yes, I'm looking uh, right and, now to um the power. Oh, is it the uh, Let's see, The Power of One More. One More, have you heard of that? Yeah, it's a new book that's out. It's the same thing. It's like The Power of One More, I think is what it's called. It's like you might be one more, one more, one one phone call, one meeting, one choice away from changing your life. So it's all about just doing one more thing. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I like it so far. That's essentially how I've been living my life. I squeeze so much into a day that people, like, would – they look at the stuff I do. I'm like, how, they're like, how do you have much, so much energy? I was like, if I don't go to these things in my head, it, it's basically it's FOMO. But it's also, I think that, oh, well, if I go to this one more thing, maybe, you know, something like uh, like the networking type of thing will happen. Or I'll see mm-hmm. one more amazing band yep. or, you know, yep. one more. Yep. It's just, okay. yep. well, that's that's good. what the book is entirely about and how people, and it's not even about business. They say it's, you know. You know, one more, you know, rep at the gym, one more, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, hugging your spouse or your boyfriend, girlfriend. You know, it's it's all about just how one more can change your life. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm enjoying it. It's interesting. Huh, I'll check it out. Uh, and finally, what would you tell your 17 year old self? Oh, my gosh, my 17 year old self. Wow. Um I would tell my 17-year-old self to trust your gut. Oh, and, there you go. Yep, trust your gut. It's never failed me. And the times that I have, the regrets I have, I look back and go, your gut told you so, <laughs> but you didn't <laughs> listen. <laughs> yeah. Now, if people wanted to find out more about you, follow you online, uh, buy River Green cocktails how can they do all the things that's usually everything that's our website is rivergreencocktails.com um our handle on instagram is rivergreencocktails and also our facebook and uh really on instagram as soon as we're we're going to be offering shipping of our cocktails so we're going to be shipping to 41 states and um that should be really here any day now keep waiting for it to be uploaded so soon enough probably by the beginning of the year for sure that will be shipping sure. texas included so believe me i would love give i'm like i'm just you know give me the time to be with republic and get me into texas i want texas and i want florida those are my two states yes those are definitely the biggest ones i think people obviously yeah. think new york but Look at what Miami's done, Florida-wise. I mean, even if you're in the city of Orlando, and then Texas on its own is just its own planet. So people don't think of it that way. Yeah, no, I'm I'm like, yes. I mean, we're going to Ohio because Ohio makes sense because we're right by Kentucky, and I'm, Tennessee will probably be the next. And then I'm like, give me mm-hmm. Florida, give me Texas. <laughs> yeah. 
dreams. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Well, Daniel, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I've loved this conversation, yeah. and I can't, I can't wait to see what the next year holds for you. Forty-one states is huge, and uh, I imagine if we try to talk this time next year, you'll have, I have to go through somebody else to even get to you. Oh gosh, I hope it's never that way. It's too much fun talking <laughs> and doing stuff like this. So I appreciate you having me, John. Really, this has been fun. No problem. <laughs> Thank you so much to Danielle for being on the show. Again, get yourself some River Green cocktails and do not worry, I will in fact be posting that shotgun video of me uh, this week. So look for that on our social media. That is going to be over at Bruiser's Pod. That is B-R-E-W-S-C-R-S-P-O-D on the Instagram, the Twitter, and the threads. If you want to send us an email, it is bruiserspod at gmail.com. If you want to follow me directly, it is Rody John. That is R-O-D-I-E-J-O-N. Rody John is the name on Twitter and on Untapped. In case you want to find out what I'm drinking, maybe we can have a beer together. If you want to follow me on the threads or the Instagram, it is official Rody John. And if you want to send me an email, it is over at rodyjohn at gmail.com. So until next time, make sure to enjoy life, drink local, and cheers. Cheers.